Hi, this is Matthew May with CoolMarketingSoftware.com. This video is going to be a short, concise tutorial on how to use the FreeAdForum.com Pro Submitter Classified Ad Submission Software. This software submits your ad to any category on the FreeAdForum.com, and it is the Pro Paid version. So once you've installed the software, the first thing you need to do is come to the freeadforum.com and register an account. So you click register for a free account. You fill out your details and you solve the CAPTCHA. Then click create. Then you'll get this green screen if you submit it successfully. An activation email has been sent. Please click the link in the activation email. Remember to look in your promotions and junk folders. Sometimes with Gmail, you will find the confirmation link in the promotion folder, folder as well. This is what the validation email will look like. It'll say, please validate your the freeadforum.com, free classified ads account in the subject. And it will be from classifieds at the freeadforum.com. We suggest you putting that email into your contacts to make sure that you get our emails. So once you get the confirmation email, you click here to confirm your registration. You must do that before you're going to be able to post. Now you will see a green screen. Your account has been validated. This means you have a validated account and now you can post on the site. This video is assuming that you've already downloaded and installed the software on your computer and you need Windows 7 or later. And we also always recommend that you get a remote Windows VPS. We'll put um, information on that in the description below. But in any case, once you have the software open on your server or on your Windows 7 machine or later, you come in here and come to the first tab, which is automatic ad submissions. You're going to submit what database you want to submit to. You choose the country. There are a number of different databases of countries. You can choose one country at a time. For our purposes, we're going to choose United States. Next, you have a project name. You can save unlimited projects. So if you're promoting 10 different affiliate programs, you can put a different project for each affiliate program. But we're just going to start with one, and we suggest you just start with one uh, campaign, simple campaign, so you get to know the software first, but you need a name for your campaign. This should usually describe what you're promoting. So this happens to be this particular program. We're using it as an example. Okay. These are all the saved projects that we have. If you haven't saved any, there won't be anything there yet. So if you're just opening for the first time, there won't be anything there. Next, you want to do, see how many ads you want to submit. The most you can submit to the United States database is 500. I suggest starting small just to get a hang of it. Let's just say five. Even that's a lot. Let's just say three. Next, you come over here. We're not going to worry about this for right now. Don't worry about that. Next, you come over here. You put in your email. And this is the email that you used to sign up on the site. So whatever you email you use to register an account with on the freeadforum.com, that's the email you used. Okay, now. This is the email for this particular ad, but the email that I used was this one. That's what I used when I sign up. So you use whatever email you used to sign up for an account with on the freeadform.com. We're just going to go back to this particular account that we've already set up. Then you put the password that you used when you came and registered an account. So just to be clear, when you registered an account, you fill this information out. That's the email and password that you need to use in the software, all right? I'm using a different account for this example that I, that I used as the in the example that I signed up for, but it's whatever um, email you use to sign up for an account with on the freeadform.com, and then you put that password that you chose when you registered an account. Here, you choose what category you wanna to submit to. You got a choice of a number of categories. You choose the category. Here, we'll go back to work from home. Okay, here we're going to come to the titles. You can use one title or you can use multiple titles separated by spin tax. We're not going to go into spin tax here. If you don't know what it is, you can look that up. 
Don't worry about it for now. Just to get going, I suggest putting one title there for now. So don't worry about spin tax. But for those of you who do know what that is, you can use spin tax. But if you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. Just put one um, title there and you can research that later. The description, you put your description here. You can use HTML code if you know HTML code. Okay, or you can just do plain text if you feel better with that. If you do use HTML code, you need to check this box so that the software knows that you're using HTML code. This is where you put your website address, whatever website you're promoting. You can put your keywords in here separated by commas. About 10 is good. You don't want to go crazy with that. Then you have your YouTube link. You can put the link to your YouTube video and it will embed the YouTube video in your ads. So I'm going to come to one of my videos here. Say if you have a video on YouTube, you click share, you click copy, and you're going to be copying this URL. And then you're going to come here to the software and put it. Now, this is optional. You don't have to have a YouTube video. I'm just putting this in. If you have a Facebook page, you do the same thing. You put in the URL of your Facebook page. If you have an affiliate link for classifiedsubmissions.com, you can optionally put that in here. If you want to use an address and a phone, you want that to appear in your ad. This is optional. You could put that there. If you want to localize your ad more and, and put that in, you could put a neighborhood or city area name. If you're specializing in a certain currency, we can put dollar, euro, or pound. And you can upload three images, up to three images, and they will be uploaded into the gallery. So once you have all this, what you want to do is click Save Project. So here I'm going to save the project. You'll get a little congratulations. You've saved the name of this project. Now you've saved this project. And if you want it to appear here, I already have it there, but normally you won't see it there yet. You click click to resave and come back to automatic ad submission tab. And here you go. You will have you will see your project in the saved projects. Now, the only thing you need to do now is to click run. And now the software is going to submit your ads automatically. And it's what it's going to do is going to submit to random cities in the United States. I've chosen United States. It's going to submit to random cities in the United States. And so right now I've just chosen to submit three ads and so I'm just going to click and it's going to submit first you'll see your looking good screen and then it'll move on and it will log you into your account typing in the username and password the username is your email and the password and now you're logged into your account now it's going to start publishing your ad this is all automatically it's just selected the category it just selected the category here now it's going to put in the title and the description and it's going to go in here, upload your pictures, so on and so forth, change the country to U.S., and submit your ad. Just chose the country, region, city, and it's going to do random cities in the U.S. For this uh, example, I took out the YouTube video, but now it's going to go and upload the pictures. is uploaded one picture and it's going to upload the two you can do up to three then it's going to do the third picture i'll do another one here and now you have three pictures uploaded now it's going to submit your ad it's going to come it's doing all this automatically submitted your ad and you can come to the site and you can see your ad on the most uh, recent listing so here's the ad we submitted. It comes under the latest listings and listings are coming in fast and furious on this. So you might have to go quick to see it because it's such a busy, busy site, which is good for you. And you can take a look at the ad. You can see we have our three questions, or excuse me, three images. We have our description. Um, we have a affiliate link there. We put the video there for you. We're going to be taking this one down. It's just a sample. So you can see. See here you have the actual ad. We took that video out. I just wanted to show you what that would look like. 
um, because it wasn't uh, for the specific ad. But now you can see what the ad looks like and what your ad could look like with a video if you want to add that. Um, you have your pictures in the gallery. People can look at it. All right. You have your description. And you could have used HTML to make all this clickable if you wanted to or just text. So even if you just do a text ad like here, you're going to have a call to action to your website, which is clickable to this website. You're going to have a call to action to uh, the affiliate link here. If you choose the classified submissions .com affiliate link, uh, you're not going to see all this. That's, um, that's because I'm in, uh, logged in as admin, but in any case, you're going to see exactly this and your ad is posted. And so it's just going to keep posting ads automatically for you. So there's one more feature I'd like to talk to you about. That's the check to alternate projects automatically when posting. If you check this box, what's going to happen is say I put a larger number. I put 50. It's going to submit random projects. Now I have three projects saved. These could represent three different affiliate programs. But imagine I had 10 projects saved. Every time the software submits an ad, it's going to switch projects. So you could submit ads for multiple projects. One time it'll submit an ad for this one. Then it'll submit an ad for this one. Then it'll submit an ad for th this one. So it's random. So if you have a lot of uh, projects in here, you will have different ads show up each submission. So that's an, an interesting part of this software is that you can promote multiple programs at once. But I want you to start with just one to get the hang of it. Once you get the hang of it, you can go through the whole same process, uh, name a new project, fill out all the information and save it. And then it will be saved. Click reset, come back. It'll be saved and you'll see it here. And you can choose just to promote one project at a time. Or if you click this button, it'll rotate and promote a different project on every cycle. So if you do 50 cycles, each one is going to rotate and do a random project from the list that you have. So that's another great difference between the pro and the free version is that you could save your projects, which saves you a ton of time. And also you could rotate projects. Also you could submit to any database in any category. So I hope this tutorial is very clear. I am using a remote windows VPS when I do that, which is by far the way to go. Um, I can just log off of this and it's going to keep submitting. It's going to keep submitting. So I just come see it opens up a little window. I come here and this is actually hosted on another computer outside of my own home computer. So I could be at an internet cafe somewhere, set up my companion, my campaign, click off and I'm good to go. Okay. And I could just go, go to the beach if I want to and, and then log in when I get at home to my home computer and see how the campaign is going. So I'll put more information in the description below. So I hope this helps you out. You can get the software if you order below um, at the link below. If you have any questions, let me know as well. Try to make this as clear as possible. Thank you so much. This is Matt with CoolMarketingSoftware.com.